Hey, welcome to Mark's Garage Channel. This is Missy. This is my 47 GMC. I've been working on this for over a year. Hope you like and subscribe. I've been getting some feedback on this amp meter. Um, if that amp meter is no good, which it seems to be stuck in that position right there, no matter what the truck's doing, maybe I need to replace it. And it could be part of the problem why I'm not charging. Now, I'm not looking forward to getting underneath this dash. I would have to take that entire gauge out and rebuild it. But before I do that, I've got this old meter here from the original gauge cluster. And I'm just going to bypass the wires if I can get up there and get them put that on and see if it'll work. So before I turn myself into a contortionist and try to get up on there and grab those wires, disconnect them, I uh, went over to the other side, I disconnected the ground wire on the battery, so if I hit any wires on anything weird, I don't short anything out. So I'm going to crawl under there now and see if I can get at that. So now my old amp meter is connected. I had to reach up and get the wires and jump over to them. And now I'm going to hook up the uh, ground on the battery and see if I can start this truck and see what happens with that thing. Okay, all reconnected. First thing I'm going to do is turn the key. And I saw it shake, so if something happened. Put the lights on. Oh, look at that. I don't think that one works either. See, it just shakes. It, it jumped to, you know, like 25 if you run this in slow motion. <laughs> and it just, now it just shakes. So sitting in the cab, turn the key on, when the key was on, turn the key off, turn it on, I'm in neutral, hit the starter. Choke it, throttle. If you saw that before it stalled it was definitely in the charging position so I think that's a good sign I think if I'm gonna go through the effort of taking that gauge apart and replacing that uh, meter I might as well spend the I think it's 75 bucks for a new meter I might as well just buy a new one from LMC instead of putting that that one original one back in with a new sticker to give it you know nice numbers but uh, I'm gonna start it again and see what happens Key on, choke on, gas. No, definitely charging, but you know what? I think I have a new gauge somewhere. I'm going to go find it and see if I can put that on. I hope you can see that. That's the, uh, the brand new gauge I had uh, hooked up under the dash. Uh, turn the key on. Nothing happens. That's not a good sign, I guess. Turn the lights on. All right. Hits the discharge. Let's start it up and see what happens. <laughs> get it to start of course so I don't know how many amps is the correct number of amps for it to be charging but to me it seems to be working so I think I'll leave it at that. Um, I will purchase a new gauge to go in here. 
either that or I gotta refurbish the one that I, I was playing with the other one but I don't know if that's a smart idea but to take that this whole gauge cluster out now <laughs> it's gonna be a real pain in the neck I put it in when the there was no steering column and uh, I think the cab was off and I was sitting in the uh, transmission well <laughs> it was a lot easier so anyways that's enough for today or at least uh, for this video. Thanks for watching.